I saw these fantastical images, this enormous terrarium in the Arizona desert called Biosphere 2, this miniature world that would be a closed system that would replicate the dynamics of the planet. And if eight people could live inside of it sustainably, it would be a pilot for Mars colonization. Spaceship Earth documents this amazing journey that you and a group of people had living in Biosphere 2. Can you explain to me what was inside the Biosphere 2 and how you were able to live in there? We built a really massive structure with pyramids and barrel vaults that housed a mini rainforest, a tropical savanna, a fog desert, a Everglades marsh system from freshwater to red mangroves, a million gallon living coral reef, a half acre farm to feed the eight people who would live in there, and all the technology and infrastructure to be recycling water and keeping that world healthy. And to make this really a separate biosphere, the engineering challenge was to make it virtually airtight. Is it creating its own mini atmosphere inside of that? Yeah, it was funny because Biosphere 2 is basically a tropical world. Obviously, to have a tropical rainforest and a coral reef. But my God, it's in southern Arizona in between Tucson and Phoenix. So there were so many impossible things that people said you cannot do. There's no way you could pull this off. So it was really a separate world and it had its own water cycle. We learned how to farm without polluting the air or water and keep the soil sustainable and produce fresh air, water, and incredibly clean food. What inspired you to cover this story? I saw these images of eight people in bright red jumpsuits standing in front of a glass pyramid, and I actually assumed it was a still from a science fiction film, but quickly realized this is a much bigger story about a group of people who quite literally reimagined the world. They had wild and novel ideas, but they had the determination and ambition to realize them. And I think the people who participated in it and conceived of the project learned a tremendous about not just managing Biosphere 2, but how we might all be stewards of Biosphere 1, which is planet Earth. If eight people could live sustainably, could modify their behavior so that they could live in, in support human life in this miniature world, why can't we? I think we have to think on the terms of small local groups and how we might modify our own behavior in our lives and in our world so that we will have a future here on the planet. The world of technology has made war on the world of our biosphere. We just really have to buy out of the chemical agriculture. It is not only threatening human health, but it's incredibly wasteful and polluting of our water and the loss of fertile soils around the planet is astonishing. The really good news, you know, this classic win-win, Every acre of ranch land and farmland that gets put to regenerative agriculture, to making organic soils, that also sops up and stores the carbon. Let's get our engineers on the track of thinking whole system that their technology, they just can't do something that makes money and is efficient. It's got to contribute and support life.